if you're using a, a basically a dump pump, basically a pump with just an on-off pressure pressure switch, then um, one of the problems you often encounter um, for wear life on the pump, for power consumption, and for um, just general feeling of using the water in the house is this behavior where we've got a, a tap slightly open and the pump turns turns on to pick up pressure it's building up pressure and then it switches off but because there's a tap open the pressure drops so it it's it was at three and a half bar then it dropped down to one and a half bar triggered triggered the thing to turn back on and then go again now this isn't great for the pump's life. It's also not great for power consumption because that low flow, you're basically drawing maximum amount of power at that low flow of these dumb pumps. Now, if you want to get around that, what you would need to do is add some sort of a buffer in place. So you get these pressurized buffer tanks in many different sizes. This is a very tiny one, a three liter one, um, which would help a little bit. It just gives it a little bit more time between switching on and off. And then you get bigger ones, like this one behind me has a 100 liter one, and you get them up, up to a 1,000 liters. So the larger tank you, you, you put in place, the longer um, it will take the, the pressure to drop down from, in this case, 3.5 bar to 1.5 bar, where it switches back on again, thus saving the pump from switching on and off the whole time and saving um, power running at that very low flow on the pump. The alternative? is to go for a variable speed drive pump, which simply just turns the pump slower if you're using using less. Something like this, a pressure tank in line would still help even with those, those pumps because they don't throttle down to nothing, but they typically can throttle down to about 25% of their rated power when only using a small amount of water.